What do you do if you get comb like this, where it's like hanging out because you decide to go foundationless? I'm going to show you how to fix it. We're going to have lots of examples and this is a case of a couple things one if you look down you can tell that my frames weren't aligned so I have a frame that's that's off center and that makes all my frames off center until you get there and then this one's directly over the other one so we got to find out what's going on in the bottom box that that made these not not work out also we're going to fix all this comb that's in there. We are in the beginning of summer, so the comb is gonna be hot, it's gonna be pliable. So I came out early in the morning. That's tip number one, come out early in the morning and, and try and get this before you're out here and it gets so hot that the wax is all over the place. So it's just pliable enough, I can push it, right? And it's not gonna break? So I'm not gonna do that yet. I'm getting excited because we're on video. First thing, buy some rubber bands. Dollar store or what it, dollar tree. It kind of depends on what, what part of the world you're in. Um, it might just be your department store. But normally you can buy rubber bands cheap if you're at the Target, the Walmarts. In the comments, tell me how, how you normally say Walmart or tar Target. Do you say Target? Do you say the Walmarts? <laughs> it's kind of fun. All right, so I got I got two rubber bands per side. I'm trying to get the smaller ones because I got an assortment here, and I want to have the big ones for any deeps that have issues. Normally, I put three per side. Makes it super easy. You. Uh, you most likely do this if you're doing a cutout, but if you have foundationless and you, you left it like I did and it got all crazy, you're gonna end up doing it just like cutout. So, so we're gonna push until the wax is nice and straight. And then all I'm gonna do, super simple, grab a rubber band, put it over. Now you may say, hey, I'm putting rubber in my hives. I don't wanna do that. Don't worry about it. What the bees are gonna do is they're gonna chew on it and they will actually pull it out the front. That's one of the fun things about observing your hives. Go out with a glass of wine or, or something nice that you like to drink and uh, find a nice comfortable seat, maybe with a little cushion and go ahead and watch your bees. Well, next week I'll come out, I'll watch my bees and they'll be pulling this rubber band out. Now they, they'll pull it out after they fix the comb. So what I'm doing here is because this comb overlaps a little bit, I'm just going to push it together. The bees will fix it. It'll get hot today in that hive and it's going to kind of melt melt together anyway. And like any pieces that's like on the edge like that, you can, oh, poor guy, I'm going to move him or her. Um, any pieces that are on the edge, take your hive tool, go ahead, give them a good scrape, get them off of there. And then you can put it in your wax jar, which I have sitting right here, or you can stick it to the top of your frame. If it's hot enough outside, that will work. If, if it's not hot, just render it down into a nice little candle. Whatever you prefer. You're the beekeeper. You make the big choices. They make the bigger choices because they're going to decide what they do with this. Now, these three pieces of rubber over here, I'm gonna leave right there for now because what's gonna end up happening is I'm eventually gonna to get to the point where I'm pushing one of these, these pieces of wax, and they're gonna fall off or they'll overlap too much on a different frame. So I'll have a little section here where I can slide that piece in and we can save it. We don't have to worry about, you know, 
putting it in our jar and rendering it down for wax and then they got to pull out so much more on this frame I want to try and just fill up the frame with wax and then all they got to do is you know put them together one of the things you got to look at here is how connected how connected is this wax can I just push my hive tool through the top here disconnect it from this frame and push it onto this one does it go all the way across like this one does it literally the wax is just like that across three frames so that that makes it super difficult what do I do what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split it into chunks we'll have a chunk here and that will fit on this frame we'll have a chunk here that will fit on this frame and whatever's left will fit on this frame now if you look I'm gonna have to do this multiple times where it's there's a, a layer here, there's a layer here, a layer here, and they're starting a layer here. If I can get them all straight like this one is, then over the next couple of weeks, all of them will become straight. And that's what we're looking for. You, if, if you're just starting out and your bees are doing this with your frames, you're gonna really like this video. This strip goes just like this using my hive tool to kind of show you actually to be honest it curves it it starts out on this frame it connects to this one and then straightens out so that that is going to be really nice for me because what i'm going to do is i'm just going to cut it off the top here off of this frame and then now it's going to reside on this one this piece of wax of course i showed you comes all the way across this way that's going to be tougher so i'm going to make a mess because I'm seeing honey I'm seeing honey in that one so let's cut that first and I'm gonna try and pick a spot where I don't see honey I'll start at the bottom right now so do we have honey no no nectar I'm just gonna come up like that do it again come up like that no nectar okay maybe we get lucky because I don't I don't want to mess with their stores you know like if I'm cutting empty cells cool all right and if I go through there's nothing see they're already like wait 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 guy what are you doing now do I have to do it while this box is on top of the the brood's nest no what I could have done take this box off Put the inner cover on the brood's nest and then i have half the amount of bees however this is youtube it makes good video let's be honest all right so i'm through there and i'm through down there it's just the very top and it's because i can't lean my hive tool back far enough to get in there so now we'll conquer this one what i'm gonna do go like this go down right to where the edge is I'm just gonna use my thumb push it over and I'm gonna watch the other piece of wax to make sure I'm not cutting into that because that's the one that I'm 90% sure has honey attached to it now I'm running out of room could I use a different tool probably could I use the end that might, that might work out better And it's not really cutting. That's kind of a problem. So we're gonna switch sides. Do we have honey? We don't. Okay. Let's switch sides. Hopefully my fingers aren't blocking it too much. Ah! Calm down. All right. I am sweating. I am sweating so bad. All right. I apologize. I hit the camera. So camera fell bad news like I said everything costs money on my post today and if my camera breaks that's more money that I don't want to lose but if you go to buy me a coffee at Rascal Apiary you can donate up to five dollars donate a dollar if, uh, if you like the content you're seeing 
I hope it's at least that worth a dollar, or it's at least worth a dollar. Because I'm going to edit a lot of this. That's what takes the time. And time is money. But this is my off day. This is my vacation day, so... I'm enjoying it. And that's what really counts. Alright, so... I'm going to try and come back some more and not hit the camera. Because there's this one spot. Alright, that's good enough for me. There's one spot there that I'm not comfortable moving back anymore. So hopefully it just rips right off. Nice and easy. I don't want to take too much. Right, we're stuck on something. I hold the other side of the frame so it doesn't like pop on me. So we got propolis. Uh, they got red propolis right now, like a reddish orange. All right, so that section I cut through is coming out nicely. There's one little spot towards the bottom that can be cut. Now this stuff takes some time, sometimes, not all the time. But uh, today it's going to take a little bit of extra. Get my hand in here. Hold the frame. And there we are. I think we're completely detached here. So that's all that came out. We made a nice straight cut. Can you see that? Eh, kind of. We made a nice cut. Wax is still in there. I'm going to put a rubber band uh, around the empty section. That way if I need to take this out, I can stick it right there. And it looks like I'm gonna end up taking it out just because the way they built the wax. So looking at the camera, I might take this section out to fill that other empty portion. And then this section will get pushed. This over here, we'll have to look at it. But we'll bring you back. So now we have my half cut there. We got bees going in and out. How straight is it? It's pretty straight but you can tell it's popping out on one side I want to go ahead and fix that I'll put a rubber band around just to hold it in place so they can't move it and then like I said I'll put the other rubber bands on the other side if you want to play a drinking game a great one is watch a video like this you can find any sort of cutout video where they're attaching uh, rubber bands. And you just pour a couple of shots, have them at the ready, and whenever these rubber bands snap, which some beekeepers don't even put in their videos, but I'll tell you, it happens all the time. Take a shot when it snaps. By the end of the video, you'll be an expert on, uh, on how to do this. Because <laughs> if you start drinking enough, you become the expert in anything. Right. And then the next day you wake up and realize I'm not an expert. I'm just a guy. All right. We're going to take off this extra. Cuz I don't like it when they build extra. It becomes harder to pull out frames. They end up laying eggs in it. And then I'm inspecting more than just a frame. I'm inspecting cavities, all sorts of things that shouldn't be happening. There we go. So when a piece of wax falls out like that, it's a nice and big one. I'm going to go ahead and flip the frame over, upside down. And then I have this little crack in here that you're supposed to put a shim in. Uh, I haven't got around to making the shims. And then I'm going to get the other parts so we can... Oh, rubber bands. Uh, maybe not that far. I'll leave them at the end. And then I'll show you how you deal with it. Oops, sorry B. I'll show you how to deal with a bigger section. Bigger sections, in my opinion, are so much easier. 
You don't have to Tetris pieces together and fill gaps. It's easy peasy. All right, there's three. I'll set that here. Using the lid as a table works really well. And then when you need to cover your bees, just use the inner cover. So it's pretty easy. Just run your tool across the top if you can. Uh, taking out the frame helps, but um, it's pretty easy. You'll see that there's some capped nectar here, but the rest of the... Oh, yeah. The rest of the, the comb is empty, but look at the size of the cells. There's two things that could be happening here. They're looking to lay drones because the cells are so big or they're making bigger cells for honey production. Just keep that in mind when, uh, when you're beekeeping. Mm -hmm. And then this is pliable, so like I can bend it and it'll stay. So I make it nice and straight. And what I'm gonna do is flip it around because that makes more sense, right? Because I cut it off of this edge. And then I'm gonna squish down the part that doesn't quite fit makes it nice and snug try and do it this way so you can see better okay I straighten out everything and then all I'm doing pulling the top of the rubber band holding it with a finger grabbing the bottom and, oh, oh making sure it doesn't get caught on the wax that's why we straighten the wax out and then I'm gonna pull that one to the middle and take the next piece, I'm going to do the same exact thing. I'm going to avoid getting caught on the wax. And I'm going to pull it to the middle. Why did I do two to the middle? Because then I have stability and I can just take the top and move it that way. I don't have to worry about the bottom. And then the last piece, we'll do the same exact thing. Boop. Now I have almost a full frame. It's nice and straight. So for a little bit right here, so just use my hand, straighten it out, stick them together. The bees will fix the rest. Now they don't have to worry about pulling all this out. They just have to fix this. They probably won't build any more over here until the fall. And then they might fix this over here just to connect it. This piece, since it's not connected to the wood, they will come up here and they'll do little band-aid connections and connect it. It's not going to be, uh, in the next couple of weeks, you won't see like, oh, everything's filled in and it's perfect. It's going to be like a little patch here, a little patch here, kind of like welding. So little patch here, little patch here, little patch here. And then that will hold this in place. There'll be a little patches down here. They'll be good until the flow hits. So I have about seven more tries of doing this. Um, probably less than that, but because of the way they built the comb, we're going to end the video here. If you like the video, Hit the thumbs up. I mean, just do us a favor. It's real easy. It doesn't cost anything. Hit that thumbs up. And then if you'd like to share the video out to your friends and just let people know like, hey, this is kind of that next level thing that I'd like to start doing, then this is great practice. And then when you go to, you know, take bees out of a log, do a cut out in the house, that sort of thing, you at least know how to put the wax in the frames. And you don't have to worry about destroying so much of the bees hard work. Thanks for watching. Uh, go ahead and head over to our website if uh, you'd like to get a newsletter from Lisa. She makes articles that you'll be able to just read while you're at work or if you're on a plane, wherever you like to read. Beaches? I like beaches. We got the OBX right down the road here. People like to go down there. They take our honey that's from the uh, farm market and they, they go make charcuterie boards and all that stuff while they sit on the beach. Anyway. Thanks for watching. It's a little tree. Part of that big tree over there. We kind of didn't do this right, but we did it. So I just pulled out the comb, threw it in here. Terry's gonna hopefully put it in a couple of frames. We'll go from there, but this, this goes way, way back. And then you might be able to see there's a spot over there that they can come in and out, which is right here.
Might be able to see a little bit of light. 